Uh, so tell me what's been going on in your world, Charlie. You always got stuff going on. Yeah, so I was on this uh, show below deck on Bravo the I past the couple show. weeks. It was really fun. Um, it They make you look pretty crazy. Like Mother Teresa could go on the show and they would still make her look like a complaining, oh, awful what? person. Well, because you're the yeah. guest on the yacht you're the and guest, the staff so is waiting on you're you. You're basically invited there to complain about the food and like, you know, to get in trouble. And that's what my friends and I did a pretty good job of. Do you feel like... <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, I love him. Good thing, because he's back. Charlie Walters. Charlie wasn't the primary last time. No, but he had a primary personality. I need that jet ski back to the boat. I need you two guys in the boat now. Okay. Did we go too far? Let's just say I'm not happy. <laughs> so you can't really be afraid to be the bad guy on a show like this, or probably any reality TV, huh? No, no, not at all. Is That's there... what... But the bad guys are the ones that get, like, they're memorable, right? They get yeah. remembered, so but I except, don't mind. Except you're not a bad guy, though. I know. Yeah, Thank you very much. If you get it, to know like... me in person, I'm not actually like that. We're so, proving it. Gold Meets Golden went really well. This is our event that we do annually with Nicole Kidman, where we bring together Golden Globe nominees with Olympic gold medalists. And I'm so proud that this year we raised $50,000 for an amazing charity called Angel City Sports. They actually help disabled children to become future Paralympians by providing them with the equipment and coaching that they need. That's how I always hope I sound I like know. when I say oh, that. You guys close your eyes. Be honest, that's how I sound. Incredible, incredible rendition. Yeah. Now they're going with no host. I think it's awful. I think it's going to impact ratings. I think it's going to lessen the interest in this. What do you think? Yeah, so there's going to be no host for the first time since 1989. And if you're old enough as me, you'll remember that was a disaster. Um, you guys should go and watch the clip. It was like Snow White intro and Rob Lowe came out and danced with her. It was so terrible. It's looked <laughs> back as one of the worst moments in Oscar history. So we'll see what they do. Um, I think they're going to probably end up relying on a lot of celebrity cameos, maybe some people that actually passed on the gig. I don't know. But the one nice thing is this show will be shorter. They're going to supposedly keep it to three hours. And, oh, I like that. Yeah. That's Although, still pretty long, They're though. also going to I mean, cut some of the categories hours. and make them announce the categories during commercial breaks, which I don't think is fair at all. Yeah. So mm. we'll see what happens. I predict that the Oscar ratings will go down even more than last year, where they were already down to a record low of minus 20%. Right. Yeah. Uh, this one, people didn't think it'd get the love it deserves. It did. Were you surprised? Um, a little bit, yeah. I wasn't expecting the Academy to nominate this particular film, and I thought, to be honest, if they were going to do a superhero film, I thought Avengers Infinity War was creatively a better film, but I do like that they they got they get a nod for cultural significance. It's a great film, so it's cool that it's up there. How about Netflix receiving its first nomination? So this is for the Roma. biggest controversy in Hollywood about Roma. You know, Roma wasn't eligible for the Golden Globe because a foreign film can't be nominated for mm. Best Picture. It's a great film. I personally uh, find it a little hard to get through. It's a little slow, but it looks so cool. It's the type of creative film that they love, so I'm not surprised it's up there, and I think it's definitely one to keep an eye on. Yeah, I'm also calling this kind of the year of the finally well-deserved Oscars that people haven't had before, mm -hmm. between Spike Lee, um, Diane Warren, who's nominated for songs. She's been nominated 10 times oh and has God. never won. Mm -hmm. And also, of course, Glenn Close, who's been nominated seven times and hasn't won. She oh. has to win this year because I think of that, so. Think? As much as I know you and I love Lady Gaga, I, I think it's going to go to Glenn. It's yeah. still so early in Gaga's career. Yeah, exactly. With, as an actress. Show that's the exciting thing about all these nominations. They're stories about people of color, about women, and I think it's really cool that the Academy is recognizing that we like this type of storytelling. Potentially. How about Melissa McCarthy? Uh, did you think she'd be in a position for leading actress and Can You Ever Forgive Me? I loved her in this film, and I love her. I actually met her at um, the Globes. She's oh, such a great... Oh, nice. There she, she is. Yay. I know. Nice. She does. Thanks. How's that jacket, by the way? Just kidding. Yeah, that's a, um, that's an awesome. I do think she deserves it. You know, a lot of comedians, you don't necessarily like to see them in these dramatic roles. Kristen Wiig, for me, when I see her, like, try to be dramatic, I just want her to be funny. Even, um, so a little bit of a surprise, I guess, but, you know, I don't think she's going to win, but I'm glad that she's nominated. It's interesting, too, that she's nominated for Worst Actress for a Razzie. I know. For, for Life of the Party and um, yeah. the Happy Time Murders. Yeah. Like, how amazing would it be if she won both of those? It just yeah. shows her range. I don't know if range. that's ever happened before. <laughs> yeah, it shows her range, I guess. I don't so know if that's the type of ages. range you want to show. Really <laughs> so we got Chicago own Jennifer Hudson, okay? Yes, she yes. Her song, I'll Fight. So I'll I'm all about this, you know, since we don't have a host, I think people are going to really be paying attention to the musical performances, mm. and I'm obviously we're going to see Gaga, yes. who you and I love, but also, um, yeah, J this Jennifer Hudson song is so good, and this is the Diane Warren song I was talking about, so she's mm. been nominated ten times. 
I don't know if she's going to win. Like, Shallow is the favorite, but I can't wait to see her perform it on the show. Yeah. And won't you be my neighbor with Mr. Rogers? Okay, I can't so that, that, that was That is my number one biggest snub this year. I thought it was not only going to be nominated, but win for documentary. It, it, it wasn't even nominated. It was fantastic. Yeah, Mr. Rogers, so cool. I'll, although I will say, RBG, she's kind of like maybe our the closest thing we have to Mr. Rogers nowadays. I don't know. Yeah. In the sense that she's helping so many people. So anything that sheds a light on her, um, I'm excited about that. If you haven't seen that film, go see it. And I think that one will win for documentary. In hindsight, I wish we could have walked away and avoided the whole thing. Mm. Okay, so we, we, <clears throat> we start with you, Charlie. What do you think? Not unlike the Kevin Hart thing that we talked about last time I was here. This is an opportunity to change your mind and do something good. So I hope he'll spin it and, and do something else. And so I ask you, Charlie, could you, fr could you friend pick your mate? Is this a good idea to you? Um, I'm going to say yes, because the relationship I'm in uh, with my boyfriend, Carlos, was picked by my best friend, Jake Wetter. And oh, so wow. I'm a big fan of this because it worked for me. If you're a single. Me, I trust me and I trust me alone. Like, I can't put my future in anybody else's I know, hands. I, I know Felicia. Good. Independent woman good. part three over here. <laughs> Jordan. Can we, can we get a look at that tie right there? That's that's a pretty unique look right there. Thank you very that much. That is so oh, unique. You wipe it off here. Had to, wear a little, yeah, had to wear a little gold for the Oscar show. Uh, Jordan, you can come, like, Borrow some clothes yeah, from me in LA. Say, if you want. Okay, at least <laughs> trade in those sweaters for some tank tops. There you go.